Before we start, I want to reiterate that I believe you will get the most effective practice if you put away your notes and calculator when you work on the multiple choice questions in this video. So if you don't feel ready yet, you may wish to pause the video and review the forces unit a little before continuing. Are you ready? Two cats are sitting on a roof. Which cat do you think will slide down the roof first? It's the one with the smaller meal. Meow. Okay, here comes the first real question. A box weighing 100 newtons is on this horizontal surface. It's given a initial velocity 6 meters per second. And it travels along the surface and stops in 3 seconds. And we're looking for the mu k between the box and the surface. Now the only equation we have to use to find mu k is uh, the friction equals to mu k times the normal force. Which means to find mu k, we'll have to find the normal force and the friction, which means we have to do the force diagram and write the force equation to find these two forces. But before that, we'll need some information from these given numbers. The time is given, and the in forces, we do not have time, but that we have time involved in kinematics. So we first have to use kinematics to find something that provides a link between kinematics and the forces. What do you think provides the connection between kinematics and the forces? It's the acceleration. The acceleration is the only thing that show up on both sides. So let's do the kinematics and find the acceleration first. We want the acceleration so we can have a connection to the forces. For kinematics, if it's constant acceleration motion, then we have to know three things. It is constant acceleration motion because when the box is sliding, kinetic friction will be a constant. Since the kinetic friction is a constant, that's going to give us a constant acceleration motion. So three things. We know that the initial velocity is 6, stops in 3 seconds. The time is 3, and it stops at the end. The final velocity is 0. So this equation can be convenient. The V equals to VO plus AT. Final velocity is 0, initial is 6 plus A times 3, so the acceleration is negative 2 meters per second squared. This negative here tells us that the box is slowing down, the velocity is positive, the acceleration is negative, means the opposite direction to the velocity. So we know the acceleration goes back that way, and the acceleration is 2. So now let's work on the forces. We have the direction of acceleration. Now we need to draw the force diagram. We only need the forces in the horizontal direction because the acceleration is horizontal direction. So which horizontal force is acting on the box? That will be friction. Because we do have mg and normal force, but they are in the vertical direction. Friction is the only one that can be in the horizontal direction. So now let's write the net force equals to ma. That's the only force we have in the horizontal direction. So it'd be friction equals to ma. The mass, if the box weighs 100 newtons, that means the mass is 10 kilograms. The acceleration is 2. Here, we do not want to put in negative 2 because we already know the direction is that way. So the amount of acceleration is 2. So friction is 20 newtons. And we need the friction and normal force to find the mu k. Oh, that means we do need the vertical forces. In the vertical direction, we have mg and the normal force. The mg is 100 newtons. 
and the y direction has no acceleration, that means the upward and downward forces, they are equal. So normal force is 100 newtons. Now we can plug them back in there. Friction is uh, mu k times the normal force. Friction is 20 mu k times 100. Therefore, mu k must be 0.2. So the answer is uh, C. In this question, we have a frictionless cart on a 37 degree incline. The cart is 5 kilograms, and there's a 12 newtons force pushing on the cart along the incline. And we're looking for the acceleration of the 5 kilogram cart. Now, if the cart has an acceleration, it will be along the incline. If we push hard enough, it will go accelerate up the incline. If we don't push hard enough, the cart can still be sliding, accelerating down the incline. But no matter what, uh, with this force along the incline, the cart can only be accelerating along the incline, either up or down the incline. So we only need the forces along the incline. So instead of drawing the mg that goes straight down, we can draw mg's component that goes down the incline. And if you happen to remember that force, that is the mg sine theta. Now, if you do not remember that, that's OK, because we can find it. Now, if you have a downward force mg, and we want to find the component of the mg along the incline, we need to make a parallelogram. In this case, the parallelogram is a rectangle. So we want the direction along the incline and the perpendicular to the incline. And what we want is to make a rectangle. So we don't want to stick this out. We only want it to end right there. So here we have a rectangle. That means uh, the components will be this one right there and that one. And what we want is the one that's going down the incline that way. So if I drew this carefully, then I can see that the slim angle here is 37 degrees. That means the component I want is the same as this side, opposite to the angle. If it's opposite to the angle, it is the sine component. And this downward slanted one is mg, so this one is the mg sine theta. Now if you are not sure that this angle is 37 degrees, what you can do is uh, you can look at this right triangle here. If this is 90 degrees, that means this is 37 and this one must be 53. And since we have these two angles added together to be 90 degrees. That means if this one is 53, this one must be 90 minus 53, so this one is 37 degrees. But uh, if you can draw it accurately, then you'll be able to spot that this is 37 degrees right away. So now we have the mg's component going down the incline being mg sine theta, which is uh, 5 kilograms, mg is 50 times sine 37 degrees, which gives us uh, 30, 30 newtons. So this is 30 newtons. Any other forces are along the incline? The cart is touching the surface. So you have the normal force and the friction. Normal force doesn't go along the incline, so we don't have to worry about it. And there's no friction, so nothing from this uh, contact surface is along the incline. And the cart is also touching this applied force, 12 newtons. So we have 12 newtons. And that's it. So now we can write our force equation. The net force equals to ma. 30 is more than 12, so I can do 30 minus 12 equals to 5 times a. So this gives me 18 equals to 5a, so acceleration is 3.6 meters per second squared. If you want a direction, that will be down the incline, because the down the incline, mg sine theta, is more than the force that's pushing it up the incline.